Yeah, man, everybody is tuned in right now. This is your wave feast. You know what I mean? 34 down kennels. Um, right now, just showing y'all a little bit of actually what I feed my dogs. You know, of course, um, first and foremost, you know what I mean? Right now, at this present time, I'm actually using the Diamond Naturals. You feel me? Um, lamb and lamb meal and rice for me. You know what I mean? And the reason that I'm actually using um, this in particular brand um, at this in particular time, what I had did was. I mean, y'all do see a couple other things that I'm actually using to feed my dogs. But telling y'all about the dry food that I'm actually using at this time. Um, Diamond Naturals, they're pretty, they're pretty a good brand, you know what I mean? There is some, uh, a couple different brands. This, um, this is a super premium um, food, but nonetheless, there is some more expensive uh, quality foods out there. Um, but what I like about Diamond is that Diamond don't um, feed you your, your animals and pets no wheat, as well as corn and um, soy so that's one of the things that I actually uh, like about diamond uh, and a good thing about it is it's like when your dogs using the bathroom and things like that they don't um, you know booboo -boo as quickly as they normally do when you may be feeding them some type of pedigree Purina Imes or you know some of the other brands that's out there that individuals may be using uh, but nonetheless um, it's a great brand I've spent about like this is a uh, uh, let's see how many pound bag this is this is a Let's see, 40 pound bag as y'all can see down there, uh, but nonetheless, uh, with the 40 pound bag, I think I spent about 41 bucks, and um, yeah, that's the diamond. Um, I also do use um, the showstopper. Um, the showstopper, what I use the showstopper for at this in particular time, um, of course, a lot of individuals may know showstopper is a coat and skin optimizer, but um, it also put on weights and it's a lot of vitamins and um, you know antioxidants and things like that omega fatty acids that actually help um, give your dog the vitamins and nutrition that they actually need um, depending on your dog size um, as you see uh, Carmel right here she down here just chilling you feel what I'm talking about at this in particular time uh, but nonetheless um, they have scoop serving sizes to you know to let you know what it is that you may need for your in particular dog at this in particular time you know you could actually use the showstopper whether you feeding your dog dry and or raw as well as um, you know uh, wet foods you feel me like canned foods for the most part right now I'm actually just today um, will be one of the first days that I'm actually going to turn my dog over into eating um, raw foods now today what I actually did and how a lot of individuals may not notice you know and, and, and the reason that you listening in right now is the 24-hour network radio at the same time of course y'all know on the 24-hour network radio and um, EWM Enterprise Inc. but nonetheless um, with this being said a lot of individuals may not know that you can go to like the grocery store and um, get this meat you feel me and they'll give it to you for free because a lot of times this is the excess meat that they can't actually sell so that's what I did I actually went down to my local supermarket and you know asked them about the meats and, and cuts of meats that they actually um, not going to be selling to individuals and that's what they did nonetheless I'm actually show you guys um, you know a little mixture of how I go about making sure that uh, caramel is going to be right. And like I said, this will be the first time for her eating raw. So, you know, I'm probably putting a little bit too much down there. But nonetheless, um, you know, these are some different treats. And I'll talk about those later. Um, and, and I might be eventually moving her away from the treats as well. Her and Crush. Uh, I'm Crush not outside right now. But nonetheless, um, I just wanted to let y'all know that. But the reason that you really want to get your dog raw foods you know, it's because it's all natural. You know what your dogs is actually getting. Um, if I really wanted to, I could actually go cook this feed food up and give it to them. But nonetheless, um, you know, I'm going to feed it to her like this. I'm going to add a little water because the dry food is in there as well. I'm going to add another scoop of dry in here, uh, you know, uh, along with some of this showstopper. And a lot of people may not know, but once again, the showstopper is the vitamins. You feel me? And we're going we gonna to see exactly what Carmel will do. I'm going to just add a little bit over it. A couple flakes. You know, depending on what size your dog is, is what they, um, they do have references and prefaces. But what I like to do is I just add a little bit to each meal to make sure that she always has some and he always has some. And sometimes I may even add a little bit of water over it you know 
and that's just how I do it. You know, everybody got their own different way, but nonetheless, we'll set that down there like that. And um, of course, she's going to investigate it because it's new to her. You know, she never really had the raw. So we're going to see um, how, how, how she actually turn out and pan out um, from here. Let's take a look and see what she do. So as y'all see right now, um, today is the first day. Um, I'm actually going to be feeding her raw, changing over her diet. So, you know, over the course of the next three, four weeks, I want to be showing you guys, um, you know, the difference in size and, and things like that. You feel what I'm talking about? So, you know, we finna get into it, man. I appreciate everybody checking out the footage. Um, once again, um, for individuals that may be interested in figuring out, because uh, of course, the raw food, actually I got it free. Um, but nonetheless, I spent about 20 bucks for the showstopper. Um, and you could get a, a one pound can of 454 grams. And of course, once again, um, Diamond Naturals. Um, I've used the lamb, and, lamb meal and rice formula. And once again, the great thing about this product is it don't have any corn. If you're feeding your dog food with corn they're going to use the bathroom a lot they're not going to retain a lot of the nutrients inside the food also if you feed them wheat um, those type of things actually cause uh, allergic reactions to a lot of individuals dogs a lot of individuals may not know that so when you feed your dog and you may see them scratching or you know doing certain things it's because they may be allergic to the different foods that you may be giving them and a lot of individuals be like hey it's just dog food you know I'm gonna feed it to them that you really want to take time and pride into um, giving your dogs some good quality food and once again this is a super premium food they do have uh, foods that's more expensive than the diamond natural brand um, once again but for me um, it's perfect it actually has all the different things that I'm actually looking for to have um, for for my dogs you know what I mean I also have um, crush and I'm, what I'm gonna be doing now is um, I'm gonna make a bowl specifically for crush because crush will be um, introduced to this as well right now for the first time so I'm gonna give him his uh, portion and due to and see and the good thing about like Donna naturals right a lot of individuals be like well you know for a certain size dog you actually have to give them uh, more food but the great thing about when you're using a super premium dog food um, you don't even have to feed your dog as much. They, 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 they get to retain everything, all the good health nutrients. And like I said, also, not only am I going to um, add the showstopper to this added formula, um, you know. And remember, Crush is like two times as big as Caramel. So, bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Yeah. So I just like to do it like that and then I just add a little bit of water to make it stick and coat. You know, that's just how I do it. Just like if my grandmama was whipping up, whipping up a gumbo or something, you know what I mean? She's going to make sure that the seasoning stick, you feel me, to the food. And I'm going to do the same thing for my dogs. But not only am I going to give them that, I'm most definitely going to treat them to some of this right here. Because right now it's all about the raw especially for crush he's he's kind of big he's he's a big boy so we'll get him a little bit more let him digest that and with the rest of this what we can do we can set this in the refrigerator for a later later feeding you see what i'm saying set it in the refrigerator for a later feeding if we have multiple of it um we even can most definitely um put it in the freezer and thaw it out as needed, you know? Because, um, you know, you just wanna make sure that your, your animals is is right, you know? That's what I do, you feel me? This this your boy, you know what I mean? 34 down kennels. This is what y'all getting when y'all getting puppies um, from the 34 down kennel line. This is what you expect um, that your dogs is gonna be eating. And, uh, you know, this is a more of expensive feed than a lot of individuals. And um, due to that, 
And it being that way, that's why we actually go about it. Yep, stay, stay in your own lane. We finna go get crushed. We gotta let crush out. So stay in your own lane. Don't, don't get to doing that. Just one second, folks. We'll be right back.